Hi. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm Chris Salvi. I'm Gabrielle Rothman. Also known as Gabrielle Salvi. Yeah. Um, we're filmmakers. And uh, we've been given the opportunity to uh, answer a couple of questions here as filmmakers, as New England filmmakers. And um, I guess we're going to go through that and answer these questions and uh, interview each other, figure out what makes us tick. Yeah. When I made my first film, I had no idea that female filmmakers weren't a thing. Um, I mean, they're a thing, but I didn't realize yeah. that they were in such a minority. Um, I mean, all of my favorite directors, with the exception of Sofia Coppola, who is my favorite female filmmaker, are men. But I still never thought like, God, why do I have, you know, half a dozen male directors that I love and only one female film director? Um, you know, so I didn't even know about it. It was um, it wasn't until like way after Get Up 8 had come out that somebody was like, oh, you're a female filmmaker. And, and isn't it crazy that there aren't that many of you and that you're yeah. so um, marginalized? And, and I was like, oh, I had no idea. Um, which in a way kind of speaks to the problem because um, we don't we don't see a lot of female filmmakers um, and and. Wow, there's like a lot I have to say on this. It's like on one hand, I don't want to be called a female filmmaker. I just yeah, because you're just a filmmaker. I'm just a filmmaker, right? Yeah, and that's what I want to be treated just like one regular of everyday filmmaker. I don't want any special privileges, but I feel like as a female filmmaker, sometimes you have to use that. Sometimes you have to say like, "Hey, I'm a female filmmaker," you know, yeah. because. Yeah as independent filmmakers, I feel like we have, um, we have to, we have to do everything that we can to like raise awareness about our work. I'm going to keep telling whatever stories I want to tell, but nothing that I ever write or make is going to be anti-man. It may be pro woman, but it will never be anti-man. We went to a film festival a couple years ago and um, it was pretty much at the height of the Me Too movement. And um, there were a ton of films that were all about kind of that experience of being assaulted. And that's powerful shit. But when I left that theater, I felt really bad for all the good guys out there because there was, nothing about them. I mean, it was like, it wasn't that the films were very like hateful towards men. It yeah. just painted men as something to be terrified of. Yeah. And I went home and I wrote this really provocative script about female sexuality and empowerment. And um, it was called feminine wiles. And it was all about, I remember that one about how women do like sex and, and, that was kind of my response to say, okay, we're really trying to teach men about consent, right? We're really trying to teach people to understand when we want it and when we don't and yeah. to hold the people accountable that violate that. What we're not saying is that women are afraid of men. Women don't like sex. You know, men are evil. And I think that's so important. And I think as female filmmakers, we need to be really careful about what we're saying about men. We cannot generalize that all men are bad. All men yeah. are feared. Sex is dirty and gross. Like, I just don't subscribe to that. And I just, you know, I just want to be really careful of that and, and cognizant of that as a female filmmaker.